Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to Adobe Live. My name is Voodoo Val, and I'm joined here today by my wonderful friend Cody. Uh, how are you, Cody? Cody I'm Bear. Great. Cody Bear, sorry. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks <laughs> uh, for having me. Welcome in, um, everyone. I see so many familiar faces in the chat. I see Anthony and Tunk and RB and uh, my good friend Akin and Anna Nelson is here again Anna. and Sam Pe Peterson and, Sam. and Shauna yeah. Lynn. Oh, so many OG Adobe fam people here. Malik, hello. Um, it's good to see you all. Uh, welcome back to another episode of the Adobe uh, Design Off uh, game show kind of thing we're doing here now. It's been pretty fun. Uh, yesterday, if you joined us, you probably saw that me and Cody were designing some characters um, mm -hmm. based off of things that were posted in the chat, and we're going to do that again for you um, today. But first, before we jump into um, the specifics of the game rules that we're going to play for you today, I would like to pass things over to Cody so she can introduce herself and let her know um, or let you guys know what she does um, and what she is all about. So take it away, Cody. All right. Uh, hi, guys. My name is Cody Hickish, aka Cody Bear Online. Uh, I do, I'm a freelance illustrator. I tend to do a lot of children's style artwork uh, with like bear characters. I did a bear character yesterday. Today I'm gonna be doing a little cat character, um, kind of like cutesy, fun, warm artwork. Um, and if you guys would like to check my artwork out, my portfolio, you can see me on Behance or you can check out my Instagram at Cody Bear Illustration. Woo. All right, yeah, definitely check out that Instagram. It's definitely, honestly, it's a great place to hang out during the social distancing time we are all in. It's very warm and cozy. It'll make you feel like you're in a coffee shop full of cats, yes. to be perfectly honest. It's great. Um, That's what we all need right now. Yes, we definitely do. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're going to be playing a game today called Pick a Part. Um, and basically what is going to happen is I'm going to switch over here to our stream so that everyone can see what we got going on. Me and Cody have a little base um, illustration uh, prepared today that we're going to be working on. Um, and every 10 to 15 minutes, we're going to ask you folks in chat to just start posting random ideas and things in the chat. And we are going to pick things from your uh, entries in the chat to add to our illustrations. Uh, mm -hmm. Cody's got this adorable little kitty cat character that she's working on. Um, and I am going to be working on a Mandalorian helmet design. Oh, heck yes. Yes, I'm super excited about it. <laughs> um, so hopefully you guys have some cool ideas for us. We're going to get started here. So if you guys want to go crazy in the chat uh, and give us... Uh, something to uh, to throw into the uh, the designs that we've got. Go for it. Now is your time. John yeah, with tentacles. Yeah, with like, tentacles. That's, that's my brother-in-law. <laughs> wait, do you have do you have that image that you can pull oh, up yeah. that you sent? She sent me this like great meme of us this morning, and it was like when the chat asks if you will add tentacles to the bear, and it was both of us like ah. <laughs> oh, Two you know what? I can't. I I sent it to you on Instagram and I can't get to Instagram. Oh, you know what? I, browser. I can probably, I can probably pull it up here. Let me grab it because it is so funny. And I can, I can pull this up while we're waiting for chat to post some awesome, uh, some awesome images or awesome a ideas mohawk? for us. Look at this. We could both do a mohawk. <laughs> this is such a good picture. <laughs> when the chat asks you to give the bear tentacles and we're like, yeah, aha. Uh -huh. Um, it was a good time yesterday. We had a we had a, a really great time. Uh, so I can't wait to see what's what's thrown on in here. Um, Malik says he loves the Mando. Uh, sh then she asks why people associate with me with the Star Wars universe. Oh, I know, I know why. <laughs> Someone says bubblegum. Um, somebody says uh, I thought somebody said like kitty cat uh, helmet or something. I'm almost I'm almost thinking I should maybe go for like a hello kitty mandalorian oh. helmet <laughs> like yeah. what do you guys think like a hello kitty that's color. like i love that because it's like totally opposite of what you would normally do yeah and i so i did i've done like a like a bunch of these helmets um and i did do one helmet that was skinned after the mystery machine from uh scooby-doo so it's like green and orange and oh, blue yeah and it has like the mystery Instagram. machine and like the flowers mm -hmm. and stuff so this would be cool to like add uh some of the uh some some hello kitty flair so i think i'll, I'll uh, that's the one that i'm gonna choose so you gotta choose what you are going to ch take from chat 
so somebody said a mohawk earlier, so I'm kind of feeling the punk vibe. That sounds awesome. I think I'm going to make a punk cat. Ooh. All right. Punk cat and Hello Kitty Mandalorian <laughs> helmet. They will fear this Mando across the galaxy far and wide. Yes. All right. Let me make a new clipping mask and I'm going to get, I think I'm going to get started with the colors, you know? Um, because oh. we can have people like suggest, I feel like, I feel like if this is going to be like Hello Kitty colored, then, uh, ideas that I could take from the chat going forward could be like for cool things. I can like stick to the helmet and just have it for like, sure. you know, like the, like the Harajuku, like, like, uh, Japanese kind of style where there's like mm -hmm. band-aids and like little hair yeah. barrettes and stuff. Like we can just go crazy and have people suggest stuff like that. The mohawk that you just added to this cat. <laughs> it came out of nowhere and it is so good. <laughs> it's so tall. It's taller than his ears. So tall. It's so good. Tall. I love it. All right. I'm going to create a clipping mask here and we're going to go for some colors. Let's get like some, some righteous Hello Kitty pink going on here. Oh yeah. There we go. So how have you been, Cody? I've been doing great, with the exception of my allergies. Uh, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Other would than you that. would you prefer allergies or like attack caterpillars? Attack pillars. That's true. I would definitely prefer allergies, I think. Uh, because I have, uh, I'm, in I'm in Northern California, folks. Um, I'm in the Sacramento area. And I don't know why, but for whatever reason, every time of the year, uh, uh, this time of year, every year, um, there are these little teeny itty bitty caterpillars that are everywhere. And when I say everywhere, I mean that they blow in the wind and they hang from trees and they have like little um, strands of silk that they use and they dangle from trees and they climb up the silk and make their little chrysalis so they can emerge as like a flying caterpillar, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and they um and they're everywhere and like you can you you go outside for for just a moment and when you come when you when you know you you try to come back into your house you have like little hitchhiker friends on your clothes and there's like hundreds of thousands of these things all over uh the city just That's crazy. hanging out literally hanging out um and I, I mean, I don't mind them. I was telling Cody earlier, the only thing that upsets me about them is I worry that I'm going to hurt one of them because they're precious little babes. <laughs> um, but I feel bad for people who don't like bugs, man, because this is a horrifying place to live this time of year <laughs> where the wind can blow and you have like eight caterpillars on you and you're like, oh my God. Um, but uh, yeah, they're, they're precious, adorable um, little creatures. Um, they really don't, they don't like us though, because every time I find one, I'm like, oh, I will rescue you. Small, pretty, beautiful insect child. And as soon as I touch it, he's like, what are you doing? No, <laughs> like, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I think they think every time I touch one of them, they think I'm a bird. And they're like, oh, this yeah. is the end. <laughs> they, and they lose their minds. But I The spend, end is nigh. I spend like 20 minutes a day nowadays, like going out and I have like a stick and I like, I want to go sit out on my back porch. So I like push the stick in the air and I catch uh -huh. all of the little strands of silk with all of them oh dangling. And then I go like put them on something else, like a branch, like uh -huh. away from me. So I don't have to like touch them. Um, but they're so cute and precious and I just feel so bad. Um, cause I know that they probably hate every time I interact with them. I think they despise me. <laughs> like, who are you and why are you touching my whole body? All right. I think I'm going to leave this on like a really bright kind of pink color. I'm not sure exactly. Maybe like that. And I'll turn that color dodge down. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then I think I'm going to make this inside part here the same color oh you have allergies too jennifer yeah the pollen's been really messing me up here lately i've been keep coughing <clears throat> so excuse my throat clearing it's no pollen it's fine i was on i was on with alex lazarus last week and for whatever reason uh the universe was just like make her sniffle the whole time 
<laughs> give her give her the, the incessant sniffles. And I was like, I'm so sorry. That. Yeah, I was like dabbing my nose the whole stream. And I was like, I'm going to just go ahead and do this because I feel like you guys would want me to dab my nose instead of just like, like, it, it, there's like a, a silent, like quiet part of the stream. And I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> Runny nose is the worst because you have to deal with that. You have to. You have to get it taken care of immediately. Otherwise, everyone knows that you got it. So, all right. I'm going to add like a, like a darker pink color for like the visor of this. Let me do a clipping mask. Boom, boom. Man, this, this punk cat. Oh, I like that you just put little heels on the boots <laughs> yes. like the little baby heels are killing me right now those are excellent interesting poor little caterpillars yes yes uh i love bugs that work in my garden but not the ones who pick on my tomatoes oh yeah also okay so totally unrelated to art and design would everyone like a gardening tip Everyone oh. like, cause I I also I garden. I actually love gardening, and I I I'm keep a greenhouse and everything. Oh. I love oh my I goodness, love Val. gardening. I've been gardening my Fabulous. whole life. If you would like to find a natural way to protect your tomato plants, um, plant a ring of marigolds around your tomato plant, um, and Very it will help protect one. you from 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 pests. And it also makes the garden look really awesome, and it, it makes your garden smell really nice. And it will, yeah, it will it will protect your tomato plants from a lot of a lot of uh, garden pests. Gardening tips with Voodoo Val. Huh. This is a new a new segment. <laughs> a new segment. Na 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 na. <laughs> we should have like a little intro, complete with SpongeBob doing the imagination, Absolutely. like rainbow above his head. It'd be great. All right, we are, I think we have maybe a few more minutes and then we're gonna take another suggestion. I've kind of gotten this like Hello Kitty color going on pretty well, I think, in this in this helmet. Oh yeah, it's looking great. Um, and then what we're gonna do in a few minutes is take uh, more suggestions. You guys could be super nice and suggest to me uh, things that could totally go on this helmet or <laughs> Or you could be like I would probably be if I were you and suggest wild, ridiculous things to add to this helmet. Give her a curveball. <laughs> Don't, though. <laughs> All right. Kind of adding... I, I think I missed I missed a few things in my line art for this uh, because I, I forgot to put, like, the little um, long part on the side of my helmet. Um, and then I also forgot to put the little connector for that little like there's like a lip um that goes across the top of the eye visor that i did not add so i'm gonna have to add that but first howard just said i'm picturing val going out going ham on some hedges with a lightsaber oh yeah the oh, only yeah. way the only, the only way, way to trim your hedges <laughs> is to have a kylo baby tantrum at your hedges oh, with yeah. a lightsaber that's the only way to do it no, I, I really do love gardening, though. It's very relaxing. So do I. Um, and I, I mean, I kind of love um, all things, like, fantasy and magical and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and anytime I'm playing, like, a fantasy video game or I love to write stories, if I'm, like, writing, like, a fantasy story or something, there's always, like, a weird element of, like, magical alchemy that I oh, just yeah. love. And so, Definitely. like, the idea of, like, having, like, a witchy, like, magical garden has always been, like, so cool yeah. to me. So having my own garden and, like, like making food from my garden and, and stuff like that, it always brings me a lot of joy um, and makes me feel extra magical. To yeah, be honest. totally. Spikes on the jacket, uh, yes. Greg Boone says. That's an excellent idea. Why did my mind just go bumper sticker? Because clearly I should make this Mando helmet a bumper sticker. That's why. Just put like a Hello Kitty. Can you imagine the decal uh, Hello Kitty Mando head on the back of like a VW Bug or something? That would be fantastic. Perfect. A perfect addition to anyone's Volkswagen Bug. Um, all right, let me, I'm gonna, I am gonna, like, lighten that. Like, Ooh, that's perfect. We need, like, patches and, like, safety pins. That's what we're going Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Um, all right, I'll, I'll give us, like, a, another minute or two, and then, um, we will start selecting some more, some more stuff. I guess, technically, like, we can, we can kind of select at will, 
Mm -hmm. um, but you guys are guaranteed that we will select somebody like every every 10 to 15 minutes. But I mean, like kind of yesterday, the way it went is we were adding stuff. And then if we saw something in chat that just like really caught our eye, we have to add. We're just like, oh, yeah, that's definitely going in yeah, this drive. Yeah, for sure. Um, so probably way more than just the handful of things that we're supposed to choose. Um, Kitty needs triangle sunglasses. Like, no, like Squirtle Squad glasses? <laughs> like the, the, the yeah! I, I hope that you guys love my little impromptu Squirtle Squad, like, hand glasses that I put on, because I think I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that'd be great. Val over here making me miss my old 68 Volkswagen Beetle. That's adorable. That's a good, that's a good, uh, that's a good car. I, I, I want to, I want like a, like a 78 bus. That's what I want. That'd be super cool. Jennifer Pulse is breathing apparatus. Like the, like a, uh, Mad Max Immortan Joe, like, like breathing mask. That would be terrifying with like the teeth on it. Um, hello, Danish. Welcome into the chat. Hello, hello. Um, and also welcome anybody who is new to the stream. Um, we are playing a game here today called Pick Apart. Oh my gosh, there go the Squirtle Squad glasses. I love it. Um, Cody and I are, are we started with like a base uh, illustrations. And what we're doing is every certain amount of time, we are asking the chat to throw in some awesome, uh, some awesome ideas. And we are choosing ideas that you folks give to us and we are putting them into our design. We're just adding your ideas into our drawings on the fly. Um, so, so far somebody has asked her to make her kitty cat character kind of a punk rocker. Um, and then I am making this Mandalorian helmet, Hello Kitty themed thus far. Um, but I think, I'm thinking maybe we should probably choose some more now. Um, so, so chat, why don't you unleash um, the creativity in the chat and let us know what else yeah. we are supposed to add to our designs. Let us know what we got to do. Someone tell me what is going on. Oh, uh, well, I hope you just heard that. Did you, did you hear my explanation, Artem, or did you literally just arrive? Hopefully you heard what I said. But if not, I would be happy to re-explain our activity for the day. All right. Um, yeah, just in time for the explanation. Now I have Herbie in my head. Like a crack, like a, like a, like add like a crack and scrape to my, to my helmet. I could totally do that. Like add some oh, yeah. weathering. That would actually be super cool. Maybe I will, maybe I will like add some, um, some metal textures and stuff to this and really make it look, um, weathered. Uh, and then I'll add like some, some scrapes and cracks to the side of the helmet. Let's see. I'm gonna... Anna, uh, Cody, I want this to be Retro Kitty's partner. Oh, I know. I Anna, I thought you were going to mention Retro Kitty at this point uh, a few years ago. Actually, on the Adobe channel. Um, really? I drew a, um, a cat character that was like this, but it was uh, uh, like a 50s uh, girl cat in a, in a, like a 50s I style. remember that. I totally <laughs> remember that. Because I was thinking, when you say retro, I instantly think like Vaporwave kind yeah. of retro stuff but when you said 50s like like adorable kind of retro i was like oh no 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 i know what she's talking about yeah all right let's see um someone's saying your cat needs a tattoo oh yeah that definitely. could that could be a thing i'll put do some like bullet a... dents i'm sure yeah. the bullet dents are for me <laughs> i'm 100 <laughs> sure the bullet, bullet dents are for me bullet dents in the cat. no please no <laughs> um all right let me do a do clipping like mask a... again like a fish tattoo. <laughs> a fish tattoo. That would be awesome. Like a like the fish that's just like the fish head with like yeah. the fish spine, kind of. You know, uh -huh, uh -huh, like the uh -huh. didn't they didn't they do that for like cat dog? Yeah, yeah. You know. All right. I think that's a pretty awesome. Um. Texture. I'm gonna come back to this texture though. I think I'm gonna grab. I have like a super metal um, one. I've got all of these DCC libraries um, in my Photoshop from past uh, daily creative challenges I've taught that oh. have like all of my favorite textures in them. So I literally yeah. can just pull them up in my Photoshop. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, it's very, very uh, uh, useful.
And if you guys are interested, um, soon I'm actually going to be starting to stream on my own channel on Behance, and I'll probably, the first couple of streams, I'll probably color these. Yes! Um, so. So excited. Yes. Much excite. All right. I think it's a little too early for me to add the metal texture. I think I need to put, like, some weathering um, on my helmet. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to add some cracks and stuff, uh, as was suggested. Uh, I'm also going to, quick tip, um, if you're using Photoshop, um, one of uh, our mutual friends, actually, Stevie Ray Drawn, showed me a tip. Oh. Yeah, Yes, I love her. Stevie. Um, and, and this is a tip that I've shared on Adobe Live before, but I'm going to share it again real quick. Um, and I'm going to actually flip over to um, to my screen so you guys can see what I'm doing in my, my menu here. Um, if you would like to do this, which is I have got um, a hotkey set so that I can toggle between looking at my painting in color and looking at it in grayscale. Um, all you have to do is go up to um, uh, view, proof setup, select custom, and then uh, set the device to simulate to dot gain 20% and then hit OK. And then from then you can do control Y and it'll switch from color to viewing in grayscale. And while you are in grayscale, if I select a um, value and then paint in another area, when I press control Y again, you'll see that I have been painting in color. So you, you keep painting in color, you're just viewing it in um, in grayscale and keeping track of your values, which wow. really helps me because I, I only really like to paint in grayscale, but the mm -hmm. odd times that I do choose to go directly into color like I did today, I need to be able to go back and, and pull that up, you know? Yeah, um, that's actually really me. good to know. I usually, um, I didn't know that you could do that. Usually when I'm go trying to flip back and forth from grayscale, I'll uh, make a layer over top of everything and paint it just pure black and mm -hmm. then change the blending mode to color and uh, it will make everything black and white. So I toggle the uh, layer on and off that way. Yeah, a lot of people do that. And that's what I was doing too. I was like using masks or, or a color layer or something mm -hmm. um, to try and, and do that. But what I found when I was doing it was that um, even though uh, that works. It, it was never really like sustainable as far as like my organization skills yeah. when it comes to what layer I'm painting on. So I would want to paint above the grayscale so right. I understand like what I'm doing. Um, and I would end up painting in a way that like was not really didn't look very nice mm -hmm. um, when I when I turn the grayscale off or on. Um, so this has been something that's really helped me um, and I really think I gotta I gotta thank Stevie Raydron and give her a shout out um, because she's an amazing illustrator and painter um, and this is a, a tip that has helped me um, pretty much every day that I've ever painted since then. Yeah, I love her so much. Yeah, you guys she's wonderful. Check her out. Uh, yeah, she has a she has a Twitch channel and she has a great Instagram and Twitter. So Stevie Ray Drawn um, on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch.tv. All right, I've got like some like painted values kind of creeping up in here. I'm trying to make this look like as close to metal as I can. I found that when you're painting like like metal kind of stuff, if you can get it to like, um, it doesn't, the, the values don't have to be like super extra detailed, but if you can get your values in your early painting to look as close to metal as you can, when you slap a metal texture on there, like an image, it really looks like metal. Um, right. So I try to get it to like that point. Um, and then and then throw an image over it on a blending mode and then it really makes my work look like I, I really painted it in like made it look like metal um, uh, and it's actually super useful um, to to utilize textures in your work I, I didn't used to do that because I think there's a lot of like kind of stigma around using textures sometimes people are like mm -hmm. ah that you're not really painting it it's not really your work and stuff but I gotta disagree because I think it's um like the, the concept of photo bashing, like what people do for production work, concept artists, people yeah. who are doing like video game design and stuff, they use this technique a lot. Um, and I think it's super viable because um, if you don't know what you're doing, like if you don't if you don't know, if you don't understand how light works and how materials work and how anatomy works, then if you photo bash, it's not gonna look good. 
Mm -hmm. You know, you're because you're not going to know what kind of images to use and you're not going to know where to put things. Um, but if you photo bash and you do a good job, it means you had the knowledge behind the decisions you made to use certain images and certain textures. So, yeah. you know, if you're doing a good job, I say, you know what you're doing um, and you should just use the techniques that work for you and your workflow. Yeah, for sure. Just go for it. Definitely, this this cat needs definitely needs a patch on her knee. Oh yeah, totally. Oh yeah. This kitty needs cowboy boots. I'm gonna do. Cowboy boots. <laughs> oh oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's that's what I'm talking about, chat. You guys are really are really getting into it now. Now you understand what this is all about. It's about secretly tricking all of my guests into adding cowboy boots to their design. Yes. That's what we've been trying to do this whole time. Cowboy boots and or um, visual depictions of Kylo Ren. Honestly, it could be it could be either of those and I would be happy. That's fine. Um, or if I'm lucky, Kylo Ren wearing cowboy boots because why oh. not? Because why not? Because, can't go wrong there. Yeah, can't go wrong. Can you imagine like Kylo combat cowboy boots? Yes. Yes, please. Yes. Very serious business. Um, hopefully I haven't totally, let me check my colors. You know what? I, I added some black in there and the black doesn't look like 100% great in with this pink. So what I'm going to do is use, um, a blending mode. How often do you use blending modes, by the way, um, Cody, or is it a, like um, a staple for you or? I actually never use blending modes. I usually just use normal. Wow. Normal yeah. Well, I'm very impressed because blending modes is how I find a lot of my, um, my color combinations and mm -hmm. like finishing like the, the look and feel of my piece. So that's super impressive to me. Um, yeah, I, I used to use blending modes. Um, but I feel like over the years, uh, I've, I've kind of like forced myself to stop. Mm -hmm. Um, because as I've learned color theory a little bit better, I've, I've forced myself to just kind of choose to be better at getting at picking colors yeah nice nice i think it's helped a lot <clears throat> uh, i think it's something that i probably need a lot more practice in because i i use a lot of blending modes like i said to find um you know the color combos that i'm more comfortable yeah. with um and sometimes i think i should maybe be a little bit better at um kind of choosing uh just being able to look and choose the colors but uh -huh. um that day is not today <laughs> yeah, I um usually like it, if you can see you don't have it uh up on the stream right now, but on oh, to the right here. of my um to the right of my drawing, you can see like all of my uh my color palette here. Um I can and I pretty much full just... screen your display. Um and there we go. There we go. Can, okay, cool. Yeah. So to the right, you can see um, all of my color picked colors. So I always just pick from those with every single piece that I do now. Nice. Because that's just so it just makes a uh, makes my Instagram and my portfolio look really cohesive because I'm using all of the same colors and all of my work. Yeah, that's one thing about your portfolio that I got to say really sticks out to me is everything is very cohesive and um, and consistent you know you have like a really excellent vibe going it's very Thank recognizable you. and it looks very very good um all right uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna use a blending mode right now i'm gonna grab like a a pink color and i'm gonna grab like a dark pink um and i'm going to set it to like a lighten. So what I what I did, if I can switch over to um, mine here, what I did was I added a lighten to this. So I was using I was using like black, and you can see that a lot of these places where I shaded was like black. Um, but when I put this dark pink on a lighten, it makes all of those dark areas actually just like a, a dark pink instead of that black. Um, mm -hmm. So it kind of brightened that up instead of looking, you know, it still looks slightly muddy, which I will fix. Um, but I think that it looks pretty good. So I'm going to throw yeah. a metal texture on there um, and I'm going to add a scrape and then it's probably time for us to choose um, another... Uh, another idea from the chat sweet i'm just uh working on my cowboy boots here they look fantastic they look great i love the little curly cowboy. <laughs> like i can't handle how cute that is punk and cowboy boots oh yeah i'm, I'm loving it. it i feel like that's i'm like kind of jealous actually this outfit's fabulous the cousin to puss in boots <laughs> it's like 
punk and cowboy boots. Um, I'm gonna add like a big jagged kind of boom scrape right there and over the visor the lip of this visor um, and then I'm gonna bring it down across my little face part here boom uh, and then I'm gonna kind of highlight it let me actually switch back so everybody can see everything we're doing um, I kind of forget to do that every once in a while, and I have to remember <laughs> to, like... Multitasking. Yeah, like, what everyone can see. Um, and I'm going to add, like, some uh, highlights here um, that highlight that this is, in fact, like a weird scrape um, in the paint and stuff of this design. Um, okay, so I've got, like, a crack in the helmet. Um, and I'm ready for I'm ready for a new uh, design suggestion. What do you say, Cody? Yeah, totally. All right, guys, what do you got for us? What do we need to put uh, into our designs? You guys can suggest literally anything, um, and we will choose some suggestions from you um, for what to put. I kind of need I kind of need some items to add to the top of my helmet. Like a I could probably put it like a Hello Kitty bow on there, but I need some more items. Yes. Keith Wilson says for for the bear, I think he means the cat. Um, pet fish on a leash, absolutely. That sounds great. <laughs> that sounds excellent. I love that idea. All right, uh, earphones. Val was born to draw. She makes sketchy, awesome brush strokes. She makes three D like textury stuff, etc. All amazing. Thank you, Ekin. That's so sweet. <laughs> you guys, I feel like you ever. You, <laughs> I mean, I feel like being a, a Twitch streamer and like a like a live streamer like here on Behance, um, you probably know what I'm talking about, Cody. But there's a lot of times where like I kind of feel like people think I'm cooler than I think I am, and it always oh, makes yeah. me feel nice. Um, so I yeah. appreciate the compliments because <laughs> I think I'm a giant nerd, um, <laughs> but I'm glad that you are are digging what I'm what I'm throwing down, Akin. Totally. Let me select a different brush and a different eraser here boom okay um antenna that's a great idea i could totally add like an antenna um to my to my helmet um what else do we got put some fur lining on the top of the helmet that could be awesome uh, what else do you guys got? Stickers? Yeah, Anna, I think I think stickers is the is the way oh, to go. Oh, stickers is a cute one. Yeah. yeah. What kind of stickers would you guys like to see on the top of this helmet? Like, what are you guys what are you guys thinking? Uh, I'm definitely gonna put like a big a big adorable bow. I think um, I think it needs a bow on it. Uh, let's see. We could do like, uh, I think I'm, I think I'm definitely going to do, let me take this off of clipping mask. I'm going to unclipping, release that clipping mask and I'm going to draw myself a bow. I'm going to, I'm going to also pull up some reference so that I can look at like Hello Kitty kind of stuff, mm -hmm. you know? Reference is always a good thing. Reference is a great thing. Even if you think you really know how to draw what you're drawing, um, reference is always a great thing to have up just to keep yourself kind of inspired and stay on the yeah. right track. Definitely. Always, always. Um, all right, I'm gonna add a bow like this. Let me see what else chat is throwing in. Uh, Yoda stickers, like, oh, I can put like a baby Yoda! Oh no! <laughs> Dude, our faces. Oh, I just looked up at the OBS. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, chat. Yas, it's happening. Call marks on the helmet from Cody's cat. <laughs> 
let me add like a like a circle. Actually, I'm going to use a, a shape tool to add a circle for the center of this bow. And then we we're going to put this bow on there, and then we're going to add a baby Yoda. It is going to be so lit. Absolutely. Heck yeah. Let me slap a uh, color overlay on this. I'm thinking pink is the way to go. Maybe a more saturated pink. Booyah. Uh, and I'm also going to add a stroke that is like a dark color like so. Heck yeah. I'm going to crank that down. Boom. Um, and then I am going to draw with that color if I can. I'm just going to sit this bow like right on top of the Mandalorian helmet, like, like, like breaking the shape and the mold uh -huh. of it, you know, kind of like Hello Kitty's bow sits. Yeah. I think that's the way to go here. Hey, hey uh, chat, can you name the fish for me? Oh, yes. The fish definitely needs a name. bow is killing me <laughs> it's so cute yes hello kitty bow for the win all right now um we need uh we need to draw baby yoda uh and i want to draw the baby yoda so that it looks like baby yoda himself took a sharpie <laughs> to yes. the side of this so i'm gonna oh actually <laughs> i'm gonna oh actually draw the baby yoda like separately and then i'm gonna use the warp tool to like warp it around the helmet so i'm gonna i'm gonna use my left hand i'm right-handed i'm gonna use my left hand to draw like a child's uh yes. version little, of baby yoda drawing yeah Crunchy is wow. the fish. I actually, I actually like Crunchy as the fish names because it reminds me of like a crunchy roll, like a sushi roll. Yes. <laughs> this ear. Oh, I almost, it's almost too bad to do with my left hand. This is really bad. Oh my gosh. Do you ever um, try to draw with your, with your left hand? Heck no. To practice? No, <laughs> never. Oh gosh. This is pretty bad. But it definitely looks like a four-year-old drew it. Well, now I want to try to draw a little baby Yoda with my right hand. Please I'm do. I'm actually left-handed. Please do. Let's see how this will go. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Go for it. It can't be as bad as mine. I actually sometimes do try to draw with my right hand for the heck of it oh my gosh guys wrong-handed baby yodas <laughs> this i hope that this is the content you were hoping for when you tuned into adobe live today we're here to bring the series designer content to you on a on a thursday evening <laughs> we are not messing around folks The only thing that could make this better is like Paul's commentary, because he's so like positive and like excited, oh goodness, right? you know, about everything he does. You'd so be like, "Oh my gosh, this is my Paul. This is my I'm gonna be your Paul, okay? Please, nobody <laughs> tell Paul Tranny I'm about to do this. What's happening, everybody? Here's Cody Bear, and she's drawing this baby Yoda with her right hand. Oh my gosh, it's happening. I'm gonna I do a handstand. Like I'm gonna do a somersault right here for no reason. Yeah." That's actually not an over exaggeration, everyone. When Val and I did an event at the Adobe office, uh, Paul was doing handstands on camera. <laughs> yeah, I believe the first time I ever laid eyes on Paul, he was doing a, a like a like a walking handstand across uh -huh. the the studio, and and they were like, uh, "So yeah, this is the studio. That's Paul." And I was like, "Go back. <laughs> Don't just Wait. gloss over this. Who is this man?" And he was like, and he just like jumped. 
back and like pulled his shirt down and was like, hi everybody, I'm Paul Trini. <laughs> and I was like, you are just excellent. You're so great. And I, that was a really good Paul impression. Thank you. Thank you. That was. Thank you was very, very much. Accurate. Thank you. I appreciate it. Please nobody tell him. Please nobody tell him unless you think he'll think it's funny. Because <laughs> if he doesn't think it's funny, we have a problem and I'll never be back. And I'll, <laughs> I'll never be back. <laughs> There's my there's my baby Yoda. <laughs> that is actually really great. So put him, make him a patch, so we both have oh, little yes. baby Yodas. Oh my goodness! Hidden. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is great. This is awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna use my warp tool. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do the warp, and I'm gonna just warp this around so it really looks like it's on the side of this. Let me do it again. Warp. Not bad, Val. Shauna says, Shauna says, every time I've ever hung out with Paul, he's done a handstand. Yeah. <laughs> or, or every time I've ever hung out with Paul, he's either done a handstand or invited me to some like wildly insane sort of athletic event that I don't know why <laughs> he would think I would be physically able to do. That, like, Paul, Paul straight up, like, showed up to one of those, like, I don't know, they're like, have you seen those competitions where you, like, scale a mountain with a beer keg? Like, no. you hold, like, a beer keg over? Yeah, and, like, he, like, he was, like, telling me about, he's like, yeah, we should do this, it's, like, so fun, it'd be great, and you get, I'm like, I mean, thank you for the vote of confidence, but absolutely not, I will not be doing that, because I don't he think that's so physically positive. possible. But he, like, did one, and he didn't even, like, he was competing against people who'd been, like, training for months and months, and he, like, forgot about it, woke up late, showed up to the event, and won. What? Yes! <laughs> yeah, but that, like, how, that's, like, a total Paul Tranny Thing. Right? Like, he just did it. He was like, oh, yeah! Hi, I'm Paul Tranny. Welcome to this event. <laughs> I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna scale this mountain with, like, a 20-pound thing held over my head, and I'm gonna do it better than everyone else. And then I'm gonna show up to the studio and design something amazing in Illustrator. All right, I've got this baby Yoda on the front of my helmet, and I'm actually really proud of myself. <laughs> I'm actually, like, super, super proud. Paul is contractually obligated by Adobe to do handstands all the time. He's actually oh. miserable and he's doing them <laughs> because he has to. <laughs> Help me. I'm going to add some more, um, some more, uh, like, painted texture to this while chat. I think there was some other people kind of suggesting some pretty cool, uh, stickers that I can add. So you guys can keep putting sticker designs because I'm, I'm basically, my suggestion that I'm taking from chat is I'm adding, I'm adding decorative pieces to the helmet that you suggest is what I'm, what I'm doing. And we do have like maybe 10 minutes left before we have to say goodbye. Um, oh, so already? Already? yeah, I know. I can't believe it. Time flies when you're talking about Paul Trani. Right. But <laughs> time flies when you're describing how he does hand, hand handstands. Um, so yeah, you guys can you guys can go ahead and like put more ideas uh, into the chat because I'm gonna probably choose a few more to um, to hide in this in this design if you've got them. Your your this cat can I say like I was impressed with your bear yesterday. I am like even more impressed with this adorable cat. It's just getting better and better Thank every you. day. I love it. I want him to be my friend. Like, I want to know him, but I'm too afraid to approach him because maybe totally. he won't think I'm cool. Right? You He's know? way too cool. That's that's how too cool, cool for he is. School. Yeah, seriously. He's one of the cool kids. The hippie he's kids. A, he's a, a cool cat, you might say. Cool cat. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle T. Webster's in the chat. What's going on, Kyle hey, Webster? Kyle. We were, man, we we were preparing for our stream. We were watching your show. And we were, like, aggressively guessing that you were that you were drawing a toucan. We were like, that's a toucan! I know it's a toucan! Come on! And I was like, it was like I was gambling or something. I was like, come on, toucan! Come on, toucan! I was like, it's gonna be... It's gonna be a toucan, I just know it. Um, and then it was, and I was like, did you see? Did you see, Cody? I did oh, that. Oh, I saw. I, I I had a hand in this. I feel like I was involved. Oh man, I was like really actually physically taxing to do all that toucan stuff just now. I feel like 
<laughs> Kerwin's like, pal, no, stop. You don't tell me no. I tell you no, Kerwin. That's how this works. That's how it is every day when Kerwin is in the chat. He always says something that is like so overly punny that I'm just like, stop, stop, kid. Okay. Calm down. Quit while you're ahead. Don't do this to me. I can't take it. Hi, friends. Very nice of you to watch my show. Many thanks. You're cracking me up. I, I am so glad. Oh, what, did what did I do? Oh, no! Oh, God. Oh, no! It's, it's okay. <laughs> you destroyed him! It's okay. We're good. All right. Let me see. I'm going to look in chat, see if I can grab one more thing. Uh, sticker idea, Rebels Forever. Okay. Oh, my goodness. All right. I can do it. Let's see. I'm just going to write. I'm going to do it with, like, a text tool. Um, Rebels for Eva. Play at this game. I'm gonna say for Eva, <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna find like a cool. Oh, I'm gonna do the Star Wars font, obviously. Obviously, Star Wars font because of course I have that. Did you guys think I wouldn't <laughs> have that? If I can find it, let me see. I don't know if I have. Let me select this. I'm gonna take it off of caps locks. All right, guys, I'll take one more suggestion as well, if you have any. And then we got us. well, no, actually it hasn't been that long. We actually have time. Oh, I gotta put a skull, like a skull and crossbones on his little t-shirt here. That would be great. This font does not have numbers, so I'm drawing a four. Rebels forever. I feel like maybe I should just get another font that has a four. I'm gonna switch it to like a, probably, ooh, not that. Actually, that's not a bad, wait a second, hold on. Let's go to Coven. Yeah, that four from Coven actually looks great with this. <clears throat> Rebels foe Eva. Um, and I'm gonna merge this and I'm gonna put a white stroke on that. And then I'm gonna say okay and I'm gonna rasterize it. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna put another stroke on it. I think actually you can put more than one stroke on it, but I'm trying not to, I, I don't know 100% how to get that done. So I'm just gonna do it this way. There's my little Rebels Foeva. Oh, that's cute. Decal. And now I'm going to transform this and I'm gonna bring this over here. Um, and I'm gonna slap that onto the side. Here. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put it like a band-aid over the over the crack. I think that would be cool. Uh, and I'm gonna warp it. Boom. Oh yeah. Um, and I'm also gonna kind of scratch it up. Cody, give a tamagotchi on the other hand. <laughs> Let's see. What does a Tamagotchi look like exactly? In a while? My, you know what? My my Photoshop just did this thing where it stops letting me use my hotkeys and I don't know why. I... Oh no. Yeah. I'm gonna save. I didn't save this at all! None of this was saved! Ooh, big yikes! Hello, kitty. Mando. I actually haven't saved either. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> I'm gonna switch over to yours while I restart my Photoshop. Oh, I'm gonna make the Tamagotchi like a little keychain hanging off his pants. Oh, I yes. Need, oh, you know what? I need, I totally need like a wallet chain. That's what we need. Oh, yes. Too. Definitely. This is definitely a chain wallet kind of cat. Hey, Pokehon! It's good to see you, friend. Yeah, that's what I thought, adding multiple strokes, but I was like, do I really want to try something I've never actually done on Adobe the very first time I do it? I think not. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, nah, <laughs> nah. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, let me open recent, open my Hello Kitty Mando. 
and we should be we should be good to go there we go and a little button on the bottom I'm gonna add some Cute. little scratches Um, and then we've got literally like five minutes. So I'm gonna let us draw for another like two minutes and then um, we are going to uh, to say goodbye, unfortunately. But I've had a blast. It's been a yeah, really it's fun been time. Fun, you guys. It's Thanks for awesome. giving us all these awesome suggestions. Like it's so fun because this is not something that I ever would have come up with on my own, right? Like, yeah. It, you know, I probably never would have made a punk character even though i love punk clothing like it's like opening my mind <laughs> these inspirational things oh things yeah like all right i'm gonna add i'm gonna spend these last minutes just kind of adding like some small little defining um uh strokes like paint swipes because one thing that i've noticed whenever i go to like add some um like some metal textures is like you can't you can't really leave it like that you know you can't just slap a texture on it and say like let's go it's done you kind of have to like at least for me and my style i have to still paint over it a little bit otherwise it literally looks like i just overlaid a texture onto my piece and that's not what i want so i'm gonna noodle with this for a few minutes keeping track of time Murder mittens. I can't believe I didn't mention that. Oh yeah, murder mittens are cat paws. I believe um, because they're adorable mittens, and if you're not careful, they will murder you. Sounds accurate. Yeah, super accurate. And they won't even be mad at you when they do it. Just bored. Just <laughs> just cat bored. <laughs> That's cats for you. Yeah. I still love them though. I, I have a, I have a, like a theory that we're all like mind controlled by cats to love them. Cause if you think about it, they don't really treat us very well. They're not really very nice to us. Um, I don't mm -hmm. have all the cats I've ever met. I don't actually have a viable reason to love them as much as I do, but I do. Um, cause they're super rude to me, all of them. Um, but I'm just like, oh, that's fine. Hairball uh, on my pillow, that's fine. It's, you're perfect. You're a perfect sweet angel. You're fine. Have fun. Eat all the tuna. That's fine. Yeah. Jump scare me from the inside of my cabinets. It's fine. Do whatever you want, literally. Because you're great and precious. Basically how it goes. Uh, great definition. I just want you to love me. Your draw has really strong character, Cody. Bravo. Yeah, it really does. I love that you've you. got, like, this whole thing, this whole setup. Like, both of your pieces from these days could be prints. They're <laughs> so good. I didn't even do that, honestly. They are so good. Like, that looks like, if you if you paint, honestly, even if you don't paint that, it still looks like an excellent promo, like, that you could put in your portfolio. Totally. I'm jealous. I guess I do have this pretty awesome, uh... Hello Kitty bow going on here though. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you did you uh, you should talk about your um, whole series that you're doing with your. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess we do have like a. Actually, we we have to go. Oh, I can't. Yeah, yeah, we can't. But I will be posting this. I do have a series of Mandalorian helmets, including one that is fashioned off of the. Uh, mystery machine from scooby-doo um, that you guys can find on my behance so definitely check that out if you want to see all of them um, it has been a blast streaming for you folks uh, today cody thank you so much for joining me um, it's always me. a pleasure to hang out with you but i think particularly these two days with these characters we've been designing has actually been pretty fabulous totally. um, chat i hope you enjoyed the show um, I hope you will be back uh, hanging out with us tomorrow. We are not going to be back, but there will be another awesome day of design and awesome stuff happening tomorrow. So we hope to see you there. Um, and I will see you around the design uh, community. We'll see you around, guys. Uh, Cody, thanks again. Um, and we Thank are going to say goodbye. Adios, everybody. Bye. Bye.